Uh, for me, the most difficult part of the test was the, with the bag carry, actually putting down my left knee. I'm right knee dominant, so putting down my left knee takes some concentration. Uh, so I basically will do the right side first, and that way I've got that down, and when I go to do the left, I either mentally or sometimes I'll even out loud say left knee, and it reminds me to just go down on that left knee. It's certainly strenuous, and you're tired by the end of it, but it's no harder than anything that we do every day. You actually have somebody walking through it with you, telling you the next uh, station. So if, don't get stuck on uh, trying to memorize the test because you'll have somebody there with you and you'll actually go through it uh, better. You just walk in and say, all right, get this done. And concentrate on my breathing and walking backwards. Now I have spotters there uh, just in case. And before you know it, it's over. Just rely on my spotters, trust your spotters, um, and kind of keep an eye behind you while you're walking. But it's just balance. You don't have to run through the test, uh, just nice easy pace. I have had a back injury in the past, so I make the going down on the knee is natural for me on the right side because it's the right technique. Um, and if you do that, it, the weight of the bags is not an issue. You usually put your right knee down and it's using your opposite knee that you're not used to when you're bending down on an everyday basis. You just have to mentally almost force yourself to use your other knee, your non-dominant knee. Watch other people try to see what they do that seems to work well for them and just do it. I think the biggest thing to remember is the dummy drag is also very difficult and when you get to the end of that you've got the compressions which is actually almost like a little bit of a break. You get a fan to blow on you so if you can make it through that point you can make it through the rest of it. The chest compressions themselves are not difficult. Uh, keeping count is my problem so I always go a little bit over. I count to tens and then so I'll count up to ten and then start over at twenty. 30, that's how I go. If I try to count to 200, it's, I'm gonna lose count. The mental aspect you wanna take into this is, is just focus on your task, what you're doing. Don't worry about anything else around you. Don't worry about whether you're gonna get the right, the best time or anything like that. Focus on what you're doing. And my tip for, for smaller people my size is, I know you can stop and take breaks, but don't stop. I don't really think about hurry up. You just go from one station to the next. Focus on the station you're at. Why does it matter to do the physical agility test? This is a physical job. We do a lot of carrying the patients around. We, the patients are heavy. We carry gear around. We go upstairs. People are, do get sick on the top floor of apartment buildings. I think each individual task is something that we commonly do on a daily basis. I do. I do. And I think it's fair. Absolutely, it's a fair test. Um, it hits every aspect of it. Lifting the proper way with your equipment, um, working with stairs, wall carrying weight, um, and being able to maneuver that stretcher by yourself with, with the equipment on it um, is everything, it's something you do every single day in this job. On test day, you, the, the two requirements that you have to have is you have to have long pants of some type and then you have to have soft-soled shoes. Um, other than that, it, it is up to the candidate what they wear. We obviously don't recommend that they wear interview type clothing. They need to, to wear clothing that they're going to be comfortable in doing something physically active. It, it is completely acceptable to wear a t-shirt, sweatshirt, whatever type of, of you know, top that, that they are comfortable in wearing. Again, knowing that they're going to be physically active. They have to realize that they are applying for a job and I would not recommend to any candidate that they wear an outfit that might be objectionable to you know, a citizen or an employer. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up.